body has been discovered. In girl world, Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. The hardcore girls just wear lingerie and some form of animal. In girl world, Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. The hardcore girls just wear lingerie and some form of animal. monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the match. He did the monster match. The monster match. It was a graveyard smash. He did the match. Y'all know little pumpkin friend, he got those TikTok likes. When he woke up and checked his phone, it gave him quite a fright. With Halloween not far away, he's in that spooky mood. This morning he said his first words, he hit me with that boop. So today at Spirit Halloween, my boyfriend fell in love with this four foot tall Sam from Trick or Treat dummy. It was $180 though, and I'm honestly pretty cheap, so I said I would make it. I went to Joanne's and got some burlap for his mask, this orange fleece that I thought would work for his onesie, um, this jute rope string to sew his mask together, these buttons for his eyes, and then this orange thread so I can sew his onesie. I laid out the fleece to get started um, and realized I needed something to work as the body and make him stand up. So I went to a few Goodwills um, and I actually ended up finding this scarecrow for $5 um, who stands up by herself. Um, so I went ahead and decapitated her, which I felt really bad about. Um, laid her out to kind of see what I was working with. Kiki approved. Um, so just got started. I went ahead and cut off the hay to make it not a scarecrow anymore because um, I definitely want to use those feet um, to hold him up. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a really long process, but go ahead and like for part two. I am the one hiding under your bed. 
teeth ground sharp and eyes glowing red. I am the one hiding under your stairs. Fingers like snakes and spiders in my hair. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween. Guys, I think I got my Halloween costume this year. I'm definitely gonna stand out in the crowd. Is this the head hole? What? I can't see. Are you kidding me? It's stuck. Where's the on button? Where are the eye holes? Excuse me. I don't understand the physics. Low key, I could pass as a mac and cheese noodle. Just look at my complexion, guys. Another thing I would like to point out is how swole I am. Who's gonna compete with this? So guys, what did we learn in book club today? Now it's time to take the costume off. First step is to find the battery pack. It's actually very conveniently located on my butt. I'm sorry, what just happened? Uh-oh. Oh, 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 where's the hole? Where's the hole? I need to go get my mom. So, my mom's sleeping. I have decided to just keep the costume on tonight and sleep in it. It's been like 30 minutes. I can't do this. I'm going to wake up my parents. I don't care anymore. I'm stuck in a Halloween costume. Can you help me? Oh, I can feel air. Freedom. Medusa era una mujer mortal, hermosa y tentadora. Tanta era su belleza que deslumbró a Poseidón, dios del mar. Él no descansó hasta seducirla y satisfacer su deseo contra la voluntad de ella en el templo de Atenea. Atenea, diosa de la pureza y castidad, se ve terriblemente ofendida y castiga a Medusa, ya que simbolizaba todo lo contrario a ella. Los cabellos de Medusa se volvieron serpientes, sus ojos emitían una luz que quien los miraba directamente se convertía en piedra. Medusa se había transformado en un monstruo, pero aún se hacía valer por su andar provocador que hipnotizaba a cualquiera. Atenea, viendo que su castigo no había sido lo que ella esperaba, envió a Perseo a cortar su cabeza, y este muy inteligentemente usó su escudo a modo de espejo para que Medusa se reflejara en él y de este modo pudiera vencerla. Desde entonces, la cabeza de Medusa fue utilizada por Atenea como escudo en sus batallas. Su sangre fue guardada, ya que la de su vena izquierda era un veneno mortal, y la del lado derecho tenía características sanadoras que resucitaba a los muertos. Get the London look. Cake batter ice cream that we make every year for Halloween. It starts off just like all of our other cake batter, but then we add a ton of black food coloring to it. I know you're thinking, who in the world would want to eat black cake batter? But every year, we sell it like crazy. And even when it's not Halloween, people still ask for it. It is that popular. It's also crazy because it dyes everything. Even though when it comes out of the ice cream machine, it's a light grayish green color. It'll be the same black. If you know, you know. And let me know if you know, because I didn't know. And if you know how many times I said no in this video, let me know. I tried to make this very interesting pink color, and then I smoothed that out on the cake. After I smoothed that all out, I went ahead and made it not smooth again. And then I carved it up a little bit, just to make it look really nice for them. And then at the end, I was gonna write happy birthday in green because it really matches the nice pink color I made. Once I finished spelling everything correctly, I wrote their name. So happy birthday, Hunter. I hope you enjoy your beautiful cake. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, bro. Happy Halloween on the other side. Bro, you're welcome. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome, dude. Oh yeah, go ahead, bro. Happy Halloween to you. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you can have another one if you want. Yeah. You're welcome, guys.